Hello, welcome back once more to Inspired Express and User Operation. So far, we've looked at how the software is laid out, as well as how to create a new project, and we've created this project that you're looking at here. Right now, we are looking at the index.svg file. We actually are wanting to edit the SVG file that we have in here, which is main.svg. Now, there's two ways to edit an SVG file. First, you could actually go into main.svg and open that directly. Or the other way you can do that is actually just open it directly from here if you just double click. And that'll open main.svg directly in your index file. We're going to make some changes here to this project and then export again back out to our device. Now the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to replace this photo with a set of photos. Now if you remember we created this folder called TP Images where we had this collection of different images of different touch panels here. And let's replace this with uh, pictures of different touch panels that are going to be flying in and out. And we can add an effect to that and adjust how they're coming in and out. And to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a playlist, which will play and add a constant effect for each different image. To create a playlist, you just right click and go to New Playlist. And that'll create a playlist for us. And you click on it and rename. Let's just name this TP Playlist and double click to open that. And there we have our playlist. Now again, we don't have any content here yet, so we just need to drag our images into our playlist. So let's open our file, and go down to the bottom, and we're just going to select all of our images. And let's just drag it directly on here onto the line. I could drag it here, or I can drag it here. Either way works. And there we have all of our images. And if we press apply, we can see our images. And they are appearing, and they'll be fading between all of them, and you can see different images. We can adjust the order here. We can drag them in different orders. Maybe we want to put these in a different order here. Let's just move them around a little bit. That's good. Press apply, and then I'll adjust the order for us. We can also adjust some of these settings, like this fade. It's fading in and out, which is fine, but we might want to try something different. So let's go to properties, and let's adjust some of these settings. We can adjust the duration here. It's listed in seconds, so 5S for seconds. If we double click, you can change this 5S to whatever we want. Let's do 3 seconds, so just do 3S. Press Enter. And we can also adjust our transition. Right now it's on fade, but we can double click and press this down arrow. Let's do a fly in. And so there we go, we've adjusted some of our settings. Looks good, so let's just press save. And we'll save that project. And we can press close. Now let's go back and open our project again. Again, let's just go to index.svg. Let's double click to open our main. And let's replace this image with our new playlist. Our new playlist is here, tpplaylist.svg. Remember what we said about the arrow. Now the arrow is going to replace, so we'll just hover over and let go. And see, now it's the TP playlist. And you can see it flew in from the right and it's disappearing left. And we can stretch that a little more. And it'll actually look like it's disappearing into the side of that video. And there you go. It's a simple thing. Of course, we can do all different sorts of transitions and things, but that's something simple to do. And we just press Save. There we go, sort of a basic playlist there. Next, let's just add a clock. So again, to add a clock, it's just like we did before. We go into Workspace and go to Templates and go to Clocks. Now, there's all different types of clocks, analog clocks, and all different types of things. But let's just do this basic clock with hours and minutes. We don't need the seconds for this one. And drag it onto the screen. Now remember again, press Control, add a new layer. And it appears there in the center. And we can make it a little smaller and stick it up in the corner. And we can adjust a few things here. First, of course, let's adjust the color, because really white is probably what we need for that. So see, all I have to do is drag it around. I could choose any of these colors here to pick, but I'm just going to do white, which is fine. And do OK. And there we have white. We can also adjust the mode. Right now it's a 24. 
but we can change it to 12 hour clock and so now it won't say 13 o'clock or anything like that. It'll just be up to 12. And we can press save. And there we go, we got our clock and press back. And that was easy. All we had to do is just a few things and everything's ready. Now our sign again is ready to go back to our device with all of our changes. We can go back and drag and drop again, but it's actually a lot easier if we are in our project folder here. As long as you're in your project folder, you can click this button, which is Quick Publish. And it remembers which device I published it to before. And I'll do Quick Publish, and it'll Quick Publish to that device. And press that, and it's publishing a project to the device. OK. There we go. Wasn't that hard. We were able to make changes to our sign and get everything working, and as easy as that. Now hopefully you can take what you've learned here and get started creating yourself a basic sign. I wish you luck. Thank you for taking this course, and have a good day.